quality products of the highest complexity. We build them all. Starting in 1989, we built our first freight liner, and over the decades, we have seen many different models that have come and gone. Others received facelifts, and still others became game-changing vehicles, combining lessons learned and engineering advancements. 2007 brought the Cascadia, the crown jewel of Freightliner. 2013 brought two signature brands for Daimler Trucks North America under one roof, Western Star and Freightliner. Today, Freightliner is the undisputed market leader in Class 8 trucks for North America. There are seven models made at the Cleveland plant. We have a craftsman's pride when a truck is cranked out for the first time and it rolls off the line. We believe that the work we do and the products that we make set the tone for the rest of the market to chase after us. Still, it was apparent that we had some work to do with our processes. We took a good hard look at ourselves and we saw too much waste in many of our processes with employees trying to find parts, too much rework with employees taking too many steps, and too much ergonomic risk as we lifted parts. This led to many long days and long hours and a lot of tired employees. Everyone was understandably frustrated. We reflected and set goals for quality and efficiency. We crafted a vision for what a great place to work should be. We believe that the Cleveland Truck Plant should be the employer of choice for current and future employees. And we always want our customers to have a product delivered on time with quality exceeding their expectations. We want them to have a truck built to perform. As we looked in the mirror, we realized our biggest challenge is managing complexity to achieve the best quality while still maximizing efficiency. All of us, managers, supervisors, shop floor employees began to understand and invest in the new goals. First met Henning, I knew he was a driver. With the new changes, with Henning coming on board, the team members are really seeing that, you know, he wants to do a good job. He wants their voice in it. He's allowing us to run our business like it's ours. Matter of fact, he worked the floor last week in pre-paint chassis. So my supervisor and I, we went back just to see, you know, how the vibe on the floor was. Uh, the team members were very receptive to it. They enjoyed it. It gives him a good idea of what resources these employees need. There's a real good kind of feeling out on the shop floor right now. We developed different methods to keep employees from walking station to station looking for what they needed. We've added an AGV, which is an automated guide vehicle. We had two gentlemen that would carry two roofs to the line every two trucks. And so we added that vehicle and it now hauls the uh, roofs back and forth. So that's eliminated their walking time. It saves basically 45 minutes a day. Automated guided vehicles that transfer materials without a driver and serve as a tack deadline for kitters. We carefully crafted kit carts to present parts to the assembler in such a way that everything is available by station and walking is minimized. Pick to light is utilized in all of our kitting zones to eliminate picking errors and to make it easier to train operators in the areas on that job. Manipulators have been put in place to save our team members heavy lifting and extra trips. It saves more, I mean, you're lifting 65, 70 pound battery each time into the truck. So that's thousands of pounds a day these guys are lifting. So that we've reduced all that, so we can let the machine do the work. Fuel tank manipulator has helped a lot too. It's taken the manual lifting out of, out of that job. You go home at the end of the day not feeling as worn out. In our paint shop, we recognized that we needed to invest in new paint technology, and we have been updating our paint booths to modern standards. This will allow us to improve our throughput in the shop and have better product as an end result. The cab line has undergone a great deal of change with the addition of the Western Star models. We have focused on line side short cycle kitting, supported by new kit carts and pick to light. We've got a cart that actually fits through the front of the cab so that all the parts that the person needs are now inside of that cab. So once they get to the cab, all they have to do is pull the slides out and get their parts. They don't have to walk back and forth to get their parts anymore. It helps production flow a whole lot better. 
so you're not wasting that time five to ten minutes by the time getting in and out of the cabs trying to carry the parts now everything is right there for them our dash buildup has been set to maximize team member efficiency prepaid chassis has converted to a new style of manufacturing with the implementation of inverted chassis we were able to move around sub-assembly areas to match line processes for a fishbone approach. We optimized logistics processes and implemented tugger trains with cyclical routes to maximize delivery efficiency and work towards our goal of forklift reductions for a safer, lower cost plant. The engine line supplies the main chassis line with the heart of our trucks. AGVs were installed to replace the old drag chain and to position the engines in an assembly friendly position. DC tools were implemented in certain areas to improve efficiency and ergonomics. Our logistics team has worked to update processes on how we manage freight going in and out of our campus. A new command center better manages the tracking of individual trailers and freight items. Quality, efficiency, a great place to work. These three things go hand in hand and lead to the ultimate goal, viable long-term employment. It took time. As a team, we tackle the issues one by one, putting them to bed and moving on. We began to see a cultural change with operating unit managers taking control of their business as if it were their own, harnessing the spirit of entrepreneurs. Our goal is to have everything built in the station with the right quality the first time. It was big and it is important. We want to make sure that nothing gets out of our station that is not up to customer expectation. Ultimately, great quality really means great feedback from both internal and external customers. It means being open with issues and working tirelessly to make sure that issues are resolved. Efficiency is all about using the best methods possible to complete a process. Employees had to give input to make it happen. Team member idea generation is the key to driving efficiency to the next level. With quality and efficiency came ownership. Employees are encouraged to speak up and work with their leaders to make improvements happen. Teams are real here, not just words. Employees come to work for more than a paycheck. We focus on true problem solving, putting in effective countermeasures to prevent recurrent issues. Shop floor management meetings at our command center demand active discussions and a mindset to solve problems on the fly. We decided to do the command center to streamline our KPI process to make it easier to feed information to the team leaders and the supervisors. And for the assemblers on the floor, it points out any mistakes that are being made and allows them to correct them in station. Before we had the command center, the, the team leaders and employees had no idea how our performance was. I think it's had a positive impact on the whole plant. Uh, last year, I think our offline was at, say, 900 trucks, and now it's around 150. We believe in bringing issues out and looking for solutions. From shop floor meetings, to operating unit meetings, to huddles, and quality Supergate reviews. We believe that informed teams make the best teams. We utilize town hall meetings to disseminate information to all levels. With everyone educated about our performance and aligned to our goals, the targets are everyone's responsibility to achieve. You know, a year ago when we had six, 800 trucks in offline, um, it's unbelievable now that we can run a new product like we just did. We run those trucks straight offline and offline. They're not stopping in any garages and that's just the proper planning and the trust that the employees and the management team has in each other. The results are visible and they feel good. Defects are down. Fewer trucks are held in offline because of necessary rework. We build a truck from a single part to a rolling machine. We do it hundreds of times each week, thousands of times a year, putting the best product on the highway or job site that money can buy. Our team drives the way we do it. We are committed to making sure that the quality is right, making sure that we are efficient, making sure that Cleveland is a great place to work so that we can continue to make the best trucks on the market. The future is bright for Cleveland. Oh, Cleveland.